Today's video is brought to you by the Sapphire 5450, which won't play too many games, but is on sale for an amazing 20 bucks right now over on Amazon. Make sure not to pass this up. Check out the link in the description below. Welcome back to motherboards.org everybody, Elric Ferris. Now today we're gonna to do something different than we normally do. The other day we did the unboxing of the brand new Sapphire card. That's that gigahertz toxic edition with six gigabytes of RAM. That's right, incredible amount of RAM. Now with that said, we're not gonna do the standard set of reviews because just comparing it straight across to a 680 on a regular monitor isn't what this card was geared to do at all. This card's geared to work on multi-monitor technology and to totally kick ass in that arena. So we're going to be bringing you guys a series of videos comparing first this card and then we'll compare it against the GTX 680 head to head same monitors. Now I've got three 27 inch monitors behind me. I've got two of the HPs, one of the Dell. The overall resolution is 7680 by 1440. Now that's an incredible resolution. What we're going to show you today in video one is how easy and simple it is to use a one click button and overclock the video card. The video card of course is obviously the Sapphire Toxic Edition HD 7970 gigahertz edition and this is called their lethal boost button and this is very easy to engage. All you do is A, you shut down your computer, then B, you push the little button and you can see as you restart the system that the button actually lights up and then you get some changes. Now the standard clock speeds that you get are 1100 megahertz on the clock and 1500 megahertz on the memory. As soon as you engage the lethal boost button, you get much better clock speeds. You get a 1200 megahertz on the core and then 1600 megahertz on the memory. Now on our unboxing video, we were just read you some of the specs and it said effective memory, but this time we actually use the trick software and this shows you clearly and accurately what you're doing. So today's video is just basically how to use their lethal boost button. This is on the card. Watch for a series of videos. We're going to do four game comparisons, starting off with the number one game, which you guys will see tomorrow, which will be Max Payne 3. So see you guys then, and thanks for watching.